what's up bitch what's really really good welcome back to my channel okay first of all we're like incognito right now because i didn't even set you guys up i'm at a red light right now Woo! i know you can tell by the title of this video what we're about to do but i just have to tell you again home goods tj maxx and marshall's open today so if you don't know obviously they've been closed because of the pandemic going on in the world and They've been closed for like six months. So everyone on the internet that's not from California has been saying how a bunch of items are like super low priced because they've been closed for this long and they've been trying to push out all the items from past seasons. Now, I'm personally a home goods TJ Maxx girl from the heart, like even without pandemic prices. But when I found out this was going on, I was like, bitch, I had been asking everybody like, do you know when it's opening? Like I would literally drive by the one by my house and I would ask the security guards like, do you guys know when TJ Maxx is opening? And they'd be like, no crazy lady, like nobody knows, go home. <laughs> so, sin querer queriendo today, my boyfriend works far from here and he was on his lunch break. He went to go get lunch. I was on FaceTime with him and he's like, there's a line outside of Marshall's. And I'm like, what? But not the Marshall's by my house, the one where he's working. And then he's like, yeah, there's a line right there. And I'm like, baby, what do you mean? And he's like, yeah, like it's open today. He's like, call and see if the one by the house is open. And I was like, okay. So I looked online and online it says they're closed. But if you call, it says, Hello, thank you for calling TJ Maxx. We are, we are open with temporary hours. No se que chingada y media. Bish, it's open! I'm so excited because I'm catching it on the first day. No he ni desayunado, plebes. O sea, no he desayunado. I left, the, uh, I left my clothes in the dryer, literally. I live in an apartment, for those of you who don't know. And I was like, es que no hay tiempo ahorita. Like, I'm gonna have to pick up my clothes when this is all done. Oh my God, I'm so excited right now, bitch. You literally cannot. I literally called Samantha and I was like, Sammy, what are you doing? Let's go. And then she's like, oh, I had a date with my friend. I think all these ladies are going to Home Goods. She's like, oh, I had a date with my friend. And I was like, all right, girl, I got no time to wait for you. I called my mom and my mom was like, let me get out of work right now, bitch. And I was like, yes, girl, let's go. I called my mom. She's getting a haircut and she's like, go in line and then I'll wait for, or wait for me. And I was like, okay, lady, let's go. So it's going to be a day fun of shopping. I live in apartments. I left my clothes in the dryer. Hopefully nobody steals them. But I'm so excited. And I wasn't going to bring you guys. I was just going to do a haul at the end. But half of the excitement is to like bring you with me, you know? I'm not going to take you in the shop because tengo que estar enfocada, plebes. Tengo que estar enfocada en todo. I'm literally speeding, bitch. Call me Speedy Gonzalez because I'm almost there. Ooh. Oh my God, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Let's see the light. Let's see. Ooh. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Oh my god. It is literally so packed. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna park right here. Say less. I'm literally so excited. This is like the most excitement I've felt in three months. <laughs> I bet you I'm gonna run into one of you guys here. I just know I am. I just know it. Bish. We are back. You guys, I couldn't vlog in there obviously because I didn't take you in. You guys are never gonna guess how much I ended up spending. I'm gonna uh -huh. tell you. 500. At the end of the vlog. I'm gonna tell them at the end of the vlog. But I ended up getting a bunch of things. Look, are these all my bags or is your bag inside? There's one. Mine. Oh, okay, so Amy and, and Marimar ended up. Say hi, McClaris. What's good? They ended up getting out of work, but obviously I was already inside because I thought the line was gonna take longer. Correction. My shift ended. In case any of you bitches oh. are out there. <laughs> oh, yes, her shift ended. <laughs> Why was gonna come up to you? Bitch, I don't know who followed Stacy, but they found me, so I'm like. Mm, she didn't get off early. Yeah, she, bitch, no. Her I shift ended. I got off early. <laughs> my, my, I got off early. But, so I thought the line was gonna take long enough for them to get out of work and meet me. But no, it's fue bien rápido, huh? Because you guys it made the line too. I got there and it was like. Not even a minute. Man, no, like two minutes probably. <clears throat> it went by super fast. <clears throat> but then when they let me in, bitch, I cannot describe the feeling of walking in like, oh. I was like so pumped. I was like, no, really? it. yes, bitch, I was all excited. I took literally like two hours in there. You guys, I forgot to get the clothes. I'm well, I didn't forget, but I have to go get my clothes right now. They're still in the dryer. <laughs> I can't believe you. I know, me You're neither. Crazy. But. That's all mine, that's all mine, that's all mine, that cuadro. I'm gonna show you guys everything. Oh, but I can show you right now. Look, I got a gold chain. It's long, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's different from hers. Hers is more like a, but hers looks like a rope, and yours looks more like a, like a brillo, so. I love it. I when I saw it, I was like, 200, that's it? Yeah, I'll give it to me. I had a lot of cute jewelry. I didn't even know like TJ Maxx had gold. Oh, you bought that there? Yeah, today, right now. Oh. 
You guys, it's so cute. It's so cute. Guess how much I paid? Huh? Guess how much I paid for it? $20. Thirteen dollars. Oh Thirteen. Thirteen. I thought it was sixty. Thirteen. Thirteen. I want to have a flower in my house too. It was a, there was another one. Family Lorio. You guys, my mom's here. You guys, so Marimar named the little guy. His name's Buffy. Well, she put water buffalo, but it's too long, so I said Buffy. That's so beautiful. Isn't it? I love the hair. Hey, Mari, at the end, he's sick. That's you so were, cute. We were walking out, your lady came in. Oh my god, look at the big, so look at the big buffalo. Oh. And it was Daisy who took the buffalo. You love it? Yeah, that's really beautiful. Did you get it? I'll put it in your car. Oh, and the other one. I'm going to go to the other one. I'm going to go to the other one. Talking about business, I can't suck up to this one. I don't know. You guys, I got my clothes, so I'm folding in. My mom came. Why come in? Mom came because okay, we're gonna go to Marshalls oh. now. A gastar más yeah. dinero. Hi guys! So as you can tell, obviously today's the day after. I look different, I'm dressed different. Bish, it was a full time job yesterday. So, after we got back from home goods, you guys, as you could see, my mom was here, Marimar was here, and they wanted to go to Marshall's. Now, Marshall's is my mom's favorite store, and it also opened yesterday. So, I was like, fine, I'll go with you guys. Las acompaño, voy con ustedes, a ver qué hay, a ver qué hay, you know. So, we ended up going to Marshall's, and tell me why. Marshall's took way longer than home goods. Like, I don't know what it was. Like, if like at home goods they only allowed a certain amount of people in but they had all the registers open so as soon as you got to like want to pay you were already out the door like you didn't have to wait at all to have to pay for your items right with marshall's on the other hand they still had all 10 registers open but i don't know why their line was literally wrapped around inside the store so you didn't take forever while you were at marshall's you would take i mean you want to take forever waiting outside of marshall's but you would take forever when you were actually having to pay so we took three whole hours at marshall's it was crazy girl i was so tired that last night i was like you know what i can't do it i'm sorry like i'll talk to them tomorrow i'm gonna show you everything because i wanted to like kind of have like a clear peace of mind i wanted to make sure that you were like <sighs> relaxed that i was relaxed that i felt good that i felt ready so that i could show you everything because i got so much and i'm so excited to show you this haul so let me show you so these are all the items that I ended up getting. Like everything is on the floor between like Ross. I only have one Ross bag. Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx is somewhere in there. So it doesn't look like a lot, but once we start unfolding and unpacking, you guys are gonna see. So I guess I can start off with what I'm wearing. You guys, I got this skirt at Ross when I went to Ross like two days ago, and it was $5. $5, girl, look at this skirt. It's super cute. Um, yeah, remember I told you guys? Remember I told you guys on the other vlog how I'm like trying to be like, I'm trying to dress cuter and like trying to put in more effort and stuff. So I definitely feel weird. Like I feel like this skirt me quita la forma, la poca forma que tengo. Me quita mis buenos looks. But I'm like, you know what? It's fine. It's girly. It's cute. I like it. We're vibing with it even though I feel like weird. I feel a little weird right now. I feel a little out of my comfort zone yet again. Yet again. Let me get all of this stuff onto the uh, onto the bed right now. I'm going to show you everything one by one so you can see it. You're going to love it. You're going to be shook at how much stuff I got and how much I ended up paying, bitch. Because that's the gag. When they told me my total, I was like, what? Excuse me? Excuse me? Okay, guys. So I set everything up in my room on my bed. As you can tell, it's a lot, girl. There was like not even a chance that I was going to be able to do this all nice, neatly, and organized. So I just set it up on the bed. And now we're gonna go through it. And I'm really, really excited to show you everything. Now, I didn't know what order to go in, but I guess I'll go in the order of the store that I went to. So first I went to Ross. Now, by the time that I went to Ross, I had already, I mean, Ross had already been open for about a week. So we didn't really get much. All the stuff and the racks were nearly empty, but I will say Ross had the best discounts out of all the other stores that I personally saw. So at Ross, I got the skirt that I showed you earlier. Super cute. I loved it so much. I got these Sika Simpson heels for $6. At Ross, I also got, oh my gosh, these super cute 
Steve Madden sandals. So this is what they look like. And when it comes to chanclas, I'm a size 11. So it's always hard to find cute shoes. Like I feel like all the other girls who are size 11 are always running there before me. So when I found these, I fell in love, especially because they have the little bedazzle right here. And the price was $14.99 compared to $30. And these at the store run for like 60 bucks. So when I found them, I was like, oh, yes, girl. So they were a little bit pricier, but totally worth it especially because it's so hard finding cute chanclas for me the total that i ended up spending at ross nothing crazy it was 31 dollars and 87 cents no se espanten yet. No se espanten. The next day, I actually ended up going to Home Good. Home Goods didn't have a lot of red tags, and the red tags that they did have, they were only down for about like five dollars an item. So it was everything crazy, but it was still worth it. Don't be surprised. I didn't get everything that was red tagged because honestly, I just love Home Goods. I love Marshalls, and I miss them being open. And a lot of the cute things weren't in red tags, especially like the home decor stuff. But I'm gonna show you just as I pull them out, okay? So I got this little organizer. As you can tell, uh, I have a jewelry business and I'm always looking for little containers to organize my pieces in. So this was $10. It's like an office space kind of organizer. But next, I'm gonna show you this little adorno that I ended up getting. I really liked it because of these little bolitas. I think I'm gonna hang it over there by the door. This wasn't on a red tag sale and it was actually $19.99 compared to $35, but like I said, I wasn't looking for red tag items only. Um, and I ended up seeing it and I really loved it. And I think it was going to complete my room really cute, so I ended up getting it. Oh shit, this bag is so heavy. Oh my god. <laughs> What the heck do I have in there? I ended up getting these chanclas at Home Goods as well, and I believe these were red tag for $13. Now, I know that's not super cheap, but bitch, I'm telling you, when you see a size 11 as a patona girl, you have to take it. Like, if you see anything remotely cute and it's your size, no questions asked, you have to take it, period. I got these leggings. I really like them. They're like a tie-dye baby green. And these were $12. So see, like, not super cheap like Ross. Ross would have had these for, like, three bucks, girl. When you're buying leggings, though, you do have to be really careful because sometimes they have, like, really bad quality. Like, you have to feel the cloth. Okay, this one was $8. Super cute. I always like to get a lot of plain shirts because that way I can, like, mix and match, you know? Um, this one was not a red tag, but it was $5.99, so it's super cute. It's a white crop with the turtleneck. I ended up getting Denny some shirts. I got him this for work. It was, I, I don't know how much it was. I think it was $10. Oh, $5 or $6. So I ended up getting this shirt for Denny for his job. I ended up getting him this shirt for $10, like when we go to brunch or something. I don't know quién me cree. Oh, ya me creo bien esposa yo comprando la ropa a mi marido. Oh, por... <laughs> I ended up getting him this shirt for $10. The men's stuff, they didn't have a lot, but a lot of it was red tagged, if that makes sense. And then I ended up getting him this shirt for $10 as well. What I did find a lot of was sports bras. Girl, I needed sports bras so bad. So this one was $10, super cute. Which $10 is okay, honestly. Like, I was expecting them to be like $7, but I guess. I think all the sports bras were $10. This one was $10 too. Let me see. $10. So I think it's safe to say all sports bras were $10. $10. And then, oh, I got this cute bodysuit. It wasn't an oferta, but it was super cute, so I ended up taking it anyway. You guys, honestly, I just miss walking around TJ Maxx like without a care in the world, searching through things, finding good deals. Like even if it wasn't red tag, ten dollars for a bodysuit is really good. I got this dress. It was red tag, and it was only twelve dollars. Isn't it so cute? Oh, I love it. I need him on vacation, girl, so I can wear all of this. I got this little skirt for $10. It is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. I got this shirt, which was also red tag for 
I guess everything was ten dollars, pero así se me fue plebes. O sea, I was like, oh, just ten dollars, ten dollars here, ten dollars there, and then when cuando me dieron el total, casi me un patatús. So this shirt was eight dollars, super cute. I had to start getting like longer shirts, bitch, because I all I had was like crop tops, and I can't be wearing crop tops my whole life, you know. As I pull out another crop top. This was $4.50. This is like a, a gym shirt, to be honest. And then the last thing that's in here, you guys. So this wasn't a red, um, red tag item. But it's this... Agate. Okay, so it's like this like plate of a stone. It's made in Brazil. Shout out Brazil if you're watching. So this was marked for $40. But you know how on uh, at Home Goods they always put the price like with pen at the bottom of the items? Quick tag. I mean quick hack if you didn't know. So it was $30 at the bottom, but the tag said $40. So I took it up to the front and then I was like, excuse me, cuánto cuesta? Porque aquí se 40 y aquí se 30. And then she's like, oh, we'll honor the lower price for you. And I was like, thank you. So it wasn't red tag, but I did get it $10 cheaper. And the reason why I ended up getting it is because I want to set all of my stones on this. Like, kind of like have one place for all my stones. Like, you know, like this. I don't have all my stones here, but um, I think this is why it was so heavy. Okay, another thing I ended up getting at Home Goods, which was not red tag, but I loved it. It's this tumbler cup. It was only $10, and I thought it was so cute. I have so many cute cups already, but I'm just addicted to cute things. Honestly, it is what it is. I'm not going to fight it. I accept myself as the cute thing lover that I am. I ended up getting this little jewelry organizer because this matches the vibe in my room, and it was so cute. I just had to get it. It was $16, which is honestly a little bit expensive, but... It's gonna make my jewelry, like my personal jewelry, look super cute. Because I got so many new dresses and stuff, I ended up getting ganchos. I just velvet ganchos, like the normal ones, you know? So that was cute. And then, last but not least, at Home Goods, I ended up getting this gold chain. It's 14 karat gold. I don't know if you guys can see it all the way from there. It's 14 karat gold, and it goes all the way down to like the middle of my chest, so it's really long. And you guys are never gonna guess how much I ended up paying. It was $200, which is a steel bitch, considering how long it is and the fact that it's 14 karat gold. I loved it, I had to take it. Oh, you guys know how much I love jewelry and it just was something that I had to do. One of the other things I ended up getting, well, two of the other things I ended up getting, you guys. One is this beautiful cuadro that is huge and we ended up putting in our living room. It's a water buffalo painting. It's so big. It's almost as tall as me and it takes up the whole wall where we do the podcast. So you're going to be seeing it at the podcast. It's a water buffalo. It's so cute. His name is Buffy. I ended up paying $13 for it. One three girl. Without the chain because the chain you had to pay it at the como se llama the chain you had to pay it at the jewelry area so that was charged separately for two hundred dollars so my total at home goods was four hundred and thirty one dollars american dollars i could not believe it you guys plus the two hundred dollar chain that's six hundred and thirty one dollars and no we're not done yet Please watch this video. Thank you. Now we're gonna move on to Marshalls because yes, I was not done yet, bitch. I should say that for last because that's like the most shocking value ever. But okay, so like I said, Marshalls was probably my least favorite experience because of how of how long it took. But whatever, it is what it is. I have to like we were ooh, oh there's another home goods bag. I forgot about it. Okay, so I got doggy bags for my children. I totally didn't see it. I got a belt because I needed a brown belt. And then I ended up getting this other like um, gold like accessory belt. This doesn't hold anything up, but it was cute. So I took it and it was $12.99. Okay. Oh, and last but not least, I totally forgot about this. I got Endless Euphoria. It's a one ounce bottle. I haven't even smelled it, but I looked at the reviews on Amazon because you know how you can smell perfumes when you're at these stores? So I looked at the reviews on Amazon. Oh, how cute is this bottle? Look. So Endless Euphoria, Let's Smell You by Calvin Klein. Oh my God. Oh my God, this smells delicious. Oh my goodness. No me ha puesto perfume hoy, please. 
Oh my God, this smells so good. Bitch, you better go get it, okay? Because $15 for this and it smells delicious. Okay, so now let's go through my Marshalls bag because here I bought more, more clothes. So first of all, I bought this reusable bag. Isn't it so cute? I love it. I'm gonna be able to put in your orders when I take them to the post office. Second, I ended up eating these like at the store because yesterday I was so excited about the fact that all these stores were opening that I forgot to eat all day. So by the time we were at Marshall's, I was like, I need to eat something. So I ended up eating the snack. Also, I ended up drinking the water from them, but I paid for it. So don't worry, Marshall's, if you're watching this. Okay, so I'm just going to show you all the shirts because I got a lot of clothes. $5.99. Cute. Oh, a pack of two sports bras for $12.99, cute. I got this cute pink dress for $10. It's very plain and simple, but it was cute and $10, so I took it. I uh, got this long sleeve bodysuit for $9.99. I got these leggings. Now, like I said earlier, the thing about leggings at Marshalls and all these stores is that you just have to take the risk. So these were $16.99, these were not red tag, okay? This dress for $10, it's different, it's simple, but I thought it was cute. I might change into it because it feels really fresh. Got this sports bra for $10, it's so cute, it's Reebok, Reebok, and that's a good brand, okay? Oh my gosh, you guys, I got this Levi's skirt. It's, it's Levi's, eh? For $10, can you guys believe it? It's so cute, I have to get it. I ended up getting this Hydra Peak bottle. It's so cute and pink. And it has three different lids, which is what caught my attention. My other pink bottle from Walmart like, is just too big to carry around. So I figured this was perfect because it has like the straw form, like the regular and the other regular. So I was like, this is cute. And this was only $16.99. I got this pink foam roller, now that we're going back to the gym, for $6. It matches my vibe. And it was only $6. Guys, the thing I was shook at the most that I love, look at how cute this cuadro is. Isn't it perfect for my room? I love it. It has like pink and it has the savila right here. It was red tag for $5. Can you believe it? I love her. Another bag that I got. Let me just show you real quick. Last two items. One is this shirt. I don't know how I feel about it because the color and like the way the shirt looks is weird, but whatever. It was $10. I'm going to try it. I'm really trying to step out of my comfort zone, as you guys can tell by these clothes. And then one that's really going to push me out of my comfort zone, it's this long, beautiful dress. But doesn't it remind you of vacation, like in Costa Rica or something? I was like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I would never wear it, but I'm going to buy it so that I can wear it. So, how much was my total at Marshalls? My total at Marshalls was $190. Oh no, que pinche general. Who allowed me? Who allowed me, bitch? Okay, so I spent $431 at Home Goods plus $200 for this chain plus $190 at Marshalls. And then you can say, how much was the Ross one? $38? Let's just say $37 to be safe. Oh my god, the number. <laughs> $858? Oh my god. ¿En qué gasté 858 dólares, Stacy? Díaz Apodaca, ¿qué te pasa? ¡Qué vergüenza! But I did need new sports bras, which I got a lot of. Uh, I needed new clothes. Can I excuse all of this? I think I can. Yes. I can't believe it. I mean, the gold chain I had to get. Like, it was a really good deal, you know? If you're also a Home Goods lover and a TJ Maxx lover and a Marshalls lover like myself, go shop literally right after you finish this video because they just opened up. Um, I don't know when I'm posting this. I think today might be Saturday. This video is coming out before my nail video. I just wanted to put it out there so you guys can go shop already. Um, but yeah, a lot of good deals. I really like the fact that. They're only allowing a certain amount of people in through the store. So you're not shopping like super close to people and you like have your own space. You don't have to rush. And the fact that they are 
having all the registers open really allows for time to go by much faster you know so i loved it it was a wonderful experience literally walking in through those doors for the first time i was like ah. let me know if you're gonna go home goods crazy like i did because i can't believe how much money i spent like this is a lot of money i what the f this is a lot of money I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching this. I really hope you enjoy this video. I love making videos like these because it's super fun and I love home goods. I love TJ Maxx. Like I'm literally gonna get home goods tattooed across my heart. I'm really not. But if you go and you shop at any of these stores, please tell me what you got. I would love to either DM me or like tweet at me, like show me what you got, girl, because I love anything that is from those stores. Like it's not even about like paying less it's about finding a good deal and being like oh my god that was such a good deal huh los quiero mucho thank you so much for clicking on this video out of all the ones that are recommended on your recommended page i'm glad that you vibe with me and i'm glad that you continue to come back every time i post a video vish you guys have been showing me so much love on twitter and on the comment section and on instagram and just know that i hear you i feel you and i'm so glad to be here for you because i love this i love this career and i love all of you who i meet in person and who come up to me and you're like hey you're that girl from youtube huh? and i'm like yes i am hi how are you oh i did forget to tell you um these this weekend that i was like at those stores a couple of you came up to me and you were like stacy or like are you that girl from youtube and like it just was super cute like i love meeting you guys in person and i love chatting it up with you whenever i meet you Thank you for coming up to me and thank you for being here, bitch. With that being said, I'm gonna try to put all of this away and I'm gonna put up the decoration pieces so you can see what they look like. <sighs> thank you for being here one more time. That's gonna be it for me, you guys. Que los bendiga mucho. Quierete mucho. Respetate mas. I'll see you guys in my next video where it'll be a nail video for you. And that's gonna be it for me. My name is Stacia Zapodaca and thank you for being here. Bye, guys. Hi, before we go, I do have to say the biggest shout out to my Patreons. I don't know why, but I forgot to give them a shout out. Patreon gang, if you're here, share yourselves in the comments. I love you guys so, so very much, and thank you for being here. Bye.